Fronds of a coconut palm sway in a tropical breeze, surrounded by endless sandy beaches, the summer sun, and the turquoise horizon of crystal clear ocean. Stress and deadlines seem to melt away in the cool shade, restoring your body. A sip of pina colada recalls a pleasant gathering with your friends. You breathe a bit more easily. Coconut is a delight for the senses and the body. It's the very symbol of tropical paradise. One of our clients shared, it has a sweet and tropical flavor that reminds me of an island in the Caribbean by the beach. This idyllic and fun tree nut restores your balance and harmony. Hi, my name is John Immel, and I'm here today to talk about coconut oil. And this talk is sponsored by the Joyful Belly School of Ayurveda, specifically sponsored by students of our one-year course in Ayurvedic digestion and nutrition. And you'll notice uh, throughout today's talk that I will give quotes from real student experiences of coconut oil. And, uh, and that will enrich the presentation and help us understand on a deeper level what coconut oil can do for us. But first, why coconut oil? Well, there are some special qualities about coconut uh, that have been highlighted and enjoyed by people for thousands of years. Uh, coconut's considered a cure-all by the Pacific Islanders, and they've used it uh, medicinally uh, for our time immemorial. Um, and coconut is a staple part of the diet of many cultures, many tropical cultures, kind of like bread for us, or rice, or corn. Um, so we know it's important. So let's take a deeper look at it. Well, first, what does Ayurveda say? Ayurveda says that coconut oil is sweet, cool, and nourishing, and yet at the same time, unusually light. Now, most oils are heavy and leave a greasy feeling, uh, but that's not true for coconut oil. There's something special about it that makes it unusually light. And this, uh, the fact that it's so nourishing, uh, sweet, and cooling, also makes it an ideal liver tonic. And we're gonna talk about that uh, uh, a bit more too. So let's find out uh, more about coconut. Uh, I've already said that it's unusual because most oils are heavy and coconut is light, uh, but also most fats depress metabolism, yet coconut oil improves metabolism. It improves fat metabolism in specific, and it also energizes you. That's unusual. Um, so another thing that uh, draws our attention to coconut oil is that it was once shunned as being unhealthy because it's high in saturated fats, but now science considers it to be almost a magical health food. And so, um, so it really does warrant a special, uh, a special look. Coconut has been used for all sorts of interesting purposes, uh, coconut water, was actually used uh, as a replacement for blood transfusion when blood wasn't available in World War I. And that, that itself, um, that it's used as a substitute for blood, should tell you that there's something special about coconut. Today we're talking about coconut oil in specific. Um, another thing I love about uh, coconut oil is that it's the ultimate neuron comfort food. And, um, and so it really soothes the nerves and offers this satisfaction that feels marrow deep. You know when you get that, you feel something in your bones that it's like comforting and good for you? Well, uh, coconut oil uh, gives that, that feeling. So let's just talk, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about coconut oil for the nervous system, and then we'll go through some of the other properties. But what I really want everyone to take away is that this is a cooling, sweet, yet light fat. Uh, that's perhaps the ultimate uh, liver tonic. We wanna just hold that phrase in our mind so we get at the essence of what coconut oil can do for you. And really, what I'm trying to do is impart a feeling of coconut more than technical knowledge, right? Because it's just hard to remember 15 or 20 different properties. And so, as you're listening to this talk, um, what I hope is that you will come away with what coconut uh, feels like rather than uh, memorizing a list of uh, herbal medicinal qualities, okay? All right, let's talk about uh, uh, coconut oil and the uh, nervous, uh, nervous system. 
So we have to remember that all of our nerves are coated in a fatty layer called the myelin sheath. And, um, and it's nourishing that fatty layer that's key towards helping your nervous system feel comfortable. So right away, coconut being an oil, we know that it's going to uh, be helpful for the nervous system. And, uh, and your nerves can literally be parched for fats especially this time of year. I'm giving this talk right now in late summer, and coconut oil is ideal for late summer. Uh, all through August, even early uh, September, uh, which is where we're at now, because coconut oil clears that residual summer heat out of the body, um, basically pacifying pit the dosha, if you know what the doshas are. And at the same time that it clears heat, it also is nourishing your body for those, for those cooler winter months ahead, basically pacifying vata dosha. So anyway, as uh, late summer is uh, a, a time of dryness, your nervous system can literally be parched for fats this time of year. And, uh, and so coconut oil is, uh, is for nerves that are thirsting for a balm, right? Um, and and that's going to settle down your nervous system. If you're feeling a little overstimulated, agitated, anxious, hyperactive this time of year, a little scattered, trouble sleeping, um, those oils in the diet are going to be a bomb for your nervous system. B-A-L-M, not B-O-M-B. B-A-L-M, bomb for your uh, nervous system. And a teaspoon of coconut oil, even just a teaspoon, can restore tranquility and bring that serenity of the tropics, that tropical ease uh, closer to home. So one of our students writes, uh, coconut oil was pleasant and made me feel at ease. I mean, I just, I think that those simple sentences like that really capture the essence of what coconut oil does. Um, another student writes, coconut oil restores me in a very comforting and nourishing way. It is like being wrapped in a silky blanket. Love those metaphors because um, it really brings it home. Um, to something we can relate to, right? We should be able to relate uh, to these medicinal qualities, uh, not just memorize the technical details. So uh, coconut oil with its unctuous uh, silkiness, with its rich enticing aroma, um, it really can, is the ultimate uh, neuron uh, comfort, uh, comfort food. So uh, coconut oil is also a, a, a boost for your energy. It supports the thyroid and improves metabolism. How, what, how many oils can you say that about, right? I mean, we're talking about an oil here. We're not talking about some medicinal bitter or, but this is an oil that's going to improve metabolism and support your thyroid. Uh, and I find that fantastic. Uh, the fats in coconut oil are very light, they're easy to digest, and so they're quickly converted into energy. One of our students writes that coconut oil kept me energetic throughout the day. And another one declares, I love coconut and noticed it gave me good sustained energy throughout the day. Two great testimonials. This same student said, I even opted out of coffee uh, because it felt like my body was awake and energized from the coconut oil. So I think that, you know, you, uh, you should try this, right? Uh, notice if coconut's lightness is energizing for you instead of weighing you down. Think about vatas, they, vata dosha, that Def deficient, little underweight, um, uh, doesn't have that hardiness of the other body constitutions. And so uh, vatas need something that's at the same time nourishing and energizing, right? Uh, coffee's not gonna do it because it doesn't nourish them, it just depletes them further. Um, and normal fats are too heavy for vatas and makes them sluggish. Well, coconut sits in that sweet spot um, where it's uh, nourishing enough but light enough great uh, opportunity for vatas out there. Uh, so uh, one client notes, coconut was lighter than other oils I have consumed. It didn't hang heavy on my digestion, but felt rather light and soothing to my stomach. Yeah, that's it. So that stimulating richness of coconut can restore vigor and vitality. And it has that nice nutty aroma that gratifies the senses. So it truly is a great alternative uh, to coffee that deals with the root cause of exhaustion, right? Well, there are several root cause of exhaustion, but in right here, we're dealing with depletion that it's at the root of exhaustion. And it'll do, it, it'll, it'll nourish you and stimulate without the jitters of caffeine. So you could try uh, a daily supplement uh, if you uh, have 
an issue of low energy uh, from uh, depletion. Great. Well, coconut also feeds the liver. In fact, this is my particular favorite quality of coconut oil, being a pitta vata constitution uh, that uh, is one that can naturally lead towards a weaker liver. And, um, and I also have that MTHFR gene. I don't know if you've ever checked out that, but that MTHFR gene uh, makes it hard for your liver to process vitamin B12. Um, and, um, and so anyway, that can end up leaving your liver a little weak, right? Uh, so coconut oil, the, my favorite property of coconut oil is that it really feeds my liver. It's an ideal liver tonic. We shouldn't just be thinking about liver cleanses, right? We should be thinking about liver uh, strengthening too, liver building. Uh, uh, cleansing is depleting, so we can't always just cleanse. Um, great. Anyway, so the it's the oiliness of coconut oil and the coolness of it and the slight sweetness of it that makes it so great for your liver. Also, uh, well, I'm going to talk about one more property in just a bit uh, that I think is fascinating about coconut and liver. But anyway, um, Ayurveda suggests that an agitated liver should be moistened with fats and that the liver should be pleased by sweet, delightful aromas like rose petals um, and coconut. Uh, so by nature, the liver is an ambitious organ and it falls victim to intense hot-blooded emotions and uh, pitta internal heat and pitta's drive. Um, you know, pitta's so wonderful uh, for all the great things that pittas do out there. Uh, but, you know, it uh, can harm the liver a bit, uh, be a little too intense for the liver. So coconut oil replenishes a liver that's deficient in fats and has that special cooling property to re reduce pit in the liver, to soothe that overheated uh, liver. And that's what makes it the ideal liver tonic. Now, if you try this experiment, uh, it's going to be great. Um, take a little coconut oil. If you're one of those pitta, hot-blooded, you know, intense uh, people, or if you're having an intense moment, take a little teaspoon of coconut oil and notice how it refreshes and relaxes the eyes. And this is a sign of coconut's healing effect on the liver because in Ayurveda, the eyes and the liver are connected. Um, so coconut oil protects the liver from, da from damage uh, as it replenishes. It protects also... So if you had a little too much to drink last night, a little too much alcohol, and you're feeling a little irritable the next day, a little teaspoon of coconut oil can help soothe that liver, smooth it over. Um, an agitated liver equals agitated emotions. And so if you've done something to hurt your liver, you can do something to heal it. Coconut cools and eases the tension, the tension that accompanies liver overactivity and can help you restore your grace and kindness. Right, so as your liver benefits, your relationships will benefit too from your new, more yielding and charitable disposition. One student writes, it made me feel cooler and calmer. It was very good for helping my pitta emotions. Uh, so uh, think about using coconut oil uh, if you have that intensity. Great. Another one of my favorite things about coconut oil is that it doesn't leave an oily, messy feeling on my skin. And in fact, um, uh, uh, coconut oil is one of the best pitta pacifying oils for Ayurvedic massage. So let's talk a little bit about the effects of coconut oil on the skin because your skin will drink this beauty oil up. Um, yeah, great. Uh, it, Coconut oil protects your skin, and it was even used by Pacific Islanders um, as a sunscreen, a natural and effective sunscreen for thousands of years. Uh, so it can help protect your skin. It can help you retain that balanced level of moisture. Uh, it's not too greasy. Like I said, it won't over-moisturize your skin, uh, and it can heal dry or damaged uh, uh, skin. And uh, so one, one of our students writes, the oiliness was soothing to my nerves and prevented my skin from drying out all day. Another one of our students wrote, when I use it for massage, it softens and moistens my skin and that it even seems to plump my skin up like Botox, but more subtly. So that's interesting. Making um, the skin supple and rich and, instead of dried out and, and even a little wrinkly, right? That's great, that coconut oil. Uh, can help with that. 
another one of our Vata students uh, exclaims, I'm a Vata type and I need coconut oil for lubricating my body and my skin. It's been really nice considering the chronic dryness that I was experiencing before. So some great words uh, there pointing at coconut's healing effect on the skin. So according to Ayurveda, coconut oil will cool excess heat in the skin and will alleviate discomfort caused by any dry skin conditions like dry eczema, dry psoriasis, even sunburn, or just general dryness. Um, also, coconut oil is great for as a lip balm. Uh, one client uh, writes, I put some on my dry, cracked lips and instantly my lips felt nourished and hydrated. Another one of our students says, my lips felt hydrated as if a sweet chapstick will run, were, were run across them. So uh, nice. Uh, it's not only that coconut oil is a great lip balm, uh, but it has that sweetness too. So it's pleasant, uh, pleasant to use. Now I said before that there was some special quality about coconut oil and its ability to heal the liver. And so let's get a little uh, bit more into the science of coconut fat. Uh, and I promise I won't overwhelm you here. Uh, the main difference between coconut oil and other saturated fats is the size of the fat molecules. So different saturated fats um, have much bigger fat molecules called long chain fatty acids. And it's those long chain fatty acids that are hard to digest. And the way that your body processes those is that they pass directly into the lymphatic system. And that's why they can lead to um, uh, clogged arteries. Uh, but coconut oil has a very different kind of fat. The fats in coconut oil are medium chain fatty acids, not long chain fatty acids. And your body deals with them in a total different way. Instead of going directly into your blood and lymphatic system, they get transported into um, through the hep hepatic portal vein directly to the liver. What does this mean? Is that coconut oil is unusual as a fat that it goes directly to your liver. And it brings those anti-inflammatory, cooling, sweet, nourishing properties directly to the liver. And, um, and so, that in particular is what makes uh, coconut oil such a great uh, liver tonic. So coconut oil, because it doesn't go into the lymphatic system directly or the bloodstream directly, it actually lowers cholesterol and improves fat metabolism. So think about that for a minute. Uh, and these, the fact that it's a medium chain fatty acid means that coconut oil is quickly digested. In fact, Another thing I love personally about coconut oil is that it's very light for digestion. I give it to nearly all of my Vata clients uh, who have weak digestion and who need nourishment. So uh, even without the aid of pancreatic enzymes, coconut oil is quickly digested. The healthy fats and fatty acids in coconut oil are easily absorbed, easily metabolized, easily utilized by the body. And that's why it's ideal for anyone who's debilitated. Um, it's also great for nourishing the elderly. You know, if you have an elderly uh, grandparent, uh, someone in their 80s uh, who seems like they're a little weak and could use a little more nourishment, just suggest coconut oil to them um, to, that they check it out. You know, that they do a little research on it and see if it's right for them. Uh, so overweight folks uh, can use coconut oil because it's a lighter oil and can help metabolize the fat they already have. Of course, you're not going to overdo it if you're overweight. Um, you know, you can overdo it with coconut oil too. But underweight people, so overweight people can use it and, and so can underweight people. Underweight people can use it to restore body fat. Athletes can use it for endurance and performance uh, because of those easy to digest qualities. And I said before that debilitated people can use it to build uh, strength. And something about coconut oil, I don't know the science behind this, but it improves your body's ability to utilize blood sugar efficiently. And that is helpful if you have hypoglycemia. Now, several of our students noticed how it softened and lubricated their muscles. They write, my muscles felt a bit more smooth and I was able um, to get a little uh, deeper into some of uh, the stretches. 
some, some stretches that I do more than before. I did not feel as rigid or stiff. Another shared a similar experience that my muscles felt soothed after massaging them with coconut oil. I, I almost felt as if I was on a beach vacation. So I think that has a lot to do, um, of course, any kind of massage and oiling is going to uh, help uh, relax the muscles. But since the coconut oil is also relaxing the liver, it's gonna ease tension throughout the body. And that's helpful for, the, um, for your uh, uh, muscles. Great. Now, another great thing about coconut oil, hope I'm not overwhelming you here, is that it supports immunity. It's an antimicrobial and an antiviral. It has a, um, it contains really high levels of a fatty acid called lauric acid, and that's what gives it this property of being an antiviral and an antimicrobial. Um, so haven't, have you ever noticed, um, if you've ever played around with essential oils, that coconut oil is so frequently recommended as a carrier oil? Well, that's because it has uh, these great antimicrobial properties and it also is a light oil that won't make you feel greasy. I used it on an infection. If you, I don't know if you can see this with the camera, but I got an infection on my arm from poison ivy because I was, um, I was, I, I put a bandage on it, and that bandage actually caused it to get infected, uh, and um, and it was weird because I couldn't actually feel any pain from it because the infection. I guess the way the infection works is that it uh, desensitizes normal pain that you would feel. And so I, my arm felt totally fine. When I peeled the bandage back, I saw that I had an alarming infection uh, spreading on my arm. Well, I took some tea tree oil um, and, uh, and put it in some coconut oil and just rubbed it on my arm. Within two days, the infection was, uh, was totally gone. And, and then, of course, it, it's taking some time to heal. This was a, after about three months. Uh, my skin has reconstructed itself. You can still see these sort of dark spots on my arm there. And uh, let's see if, uh, if I can, um, you know, use some other great Ayurvedic remedies to, um, to circulate blood in that area a little bit and clear that up. Um, I'll let you know how that goes uh, someday. Anyway, coconut oil has these antimicrobial, antiviral properties. So it's often used in, uh, as a carrier oil for, um, for uh, essential oils when you're uh, dealing with infections. Uh, coconut oil's antimicrobial properties make it ideal for oil pulling as well when you're swishing the oil in your mouth because uh, it helps maintain a healthy flora in the, in the mouth. And one of our students said, after oil pulling with coconut, uh, my mouth felt sweet, cool, and refreshed as if a cooling sponge had just cleaned the inside of my mouth. Nice, huh? All right. No conversation about food is complete unless we talk about its effect on your poop, right? So what's the common effect of coconut oil on the bowels? Well, it lubricates the digestive tract, allowing for smoother, easier elimination. Uh, one of our students wrote, I recognize an easier, smoother elimination and my bowels were not hard at all. Another says, Coconut oil was a great change from my normal mode of being constipated. So the coconut oil is going to lubricate uh, the intestines, but that's not the only uh, way that it acts as a gentle laxative. It's because it's a fat, it's going to stimulate the release of bile from your liver uh, into uh, the small intestine. And this bile is a natural, is, is your body's way of emulsifying and digesting the fats. But bile is also mildly irritative, uh, ir irritating to the intestines, so it acts as a gentle laxative, right? So what's happening here now? We're one, lubricating the digestive tract. Two, we're stimulating your body to release this gentle laxative in the small intestine. The result is uh, slightly softer stools for most people. Now, if you're a pitta person with inflamed bowels, um, you, the, uh, the cooling properties of uh, coconut oil will help reduce that inflammation and help uh, make the stools uh, healthier. And uh, anyway, uh, it, for people who already have loose stools, uh, you know, that stimulation of bile could, could cause your body to overdo it a little bit. And, um, and so if you notice your stools are too loose after coconut oil, just back off uh, of it a little bit. All right, um, I've presented some of the main 
wonderful qualities about coconut oil uh, that makes it an important food and supplement in my clinical practice. Uh, but let's talk uh, just a little bit more of practicalities in terms of buying it and um, and just a, a, a um, just a few other little th things here. So first of all, I buy extra virgin coconut oil that's unrefined. I always try to buy my oils organic as well, just because it's a ref it is a um, an extraction, right? You're not getting the whole coconut. Uh, it's it's not a whole food. Uh, oils are never a whole food. They're they're an extraction. And so if it's uh, not organic, uh, there could be a concentration of co of toxins there. So I always go for uh, the uh, extra virgin coconut oil that's unrefined and uh, and organic. And that's that's a little more expensive, I know, uh, but it's also the best. So I just want to let you know what the best is, right? Um, great. The aroma and flavor of coconut oil should be inviting and fresh. Now I've had good coconut oil that had no aroma at all, and um, and I just always question if it has as much medicinal value. I mean, it was a fine oil, uh, but I think the it should have a right, nice coconut um, aroma. Now some great things about coconut oil in the, for the kitchen is that it doesn't become rancid easily. It's a very stable oil because it has uh, a lower um, oxidation point. So you can stock your pantry with this tropical nectar, coconut oil, and not worry about it going rancid too quickly. Uh, oil never lasts a long time in our house. With me being uh, having a, a fair bit of vata, I'm always just drinking oil up. And so it, oil does not have time to go rancid in my house, but if it does in yours, coconut oil is a good uh, oil with a stable shelf life. Uh, also, coconut oil can be safely heated to high temperatures. Uh, so what are some of the ways that I like to use coconut oil in my cooking? Well, if I'm making a pot of rice, sometimes I'll just put a tablespoon of coconut oil in it, and it just gives that rice a delightful aroma. And uh, also, coconut oil, great for desserts and treats, putting in into smoothies. Uh, coconut oil is excellent for melt-in-your-mouth popcorn. Really good. So you can use uh, coconut oil as an alternative to butter in baking, uh, and coconut oil yields a lighter and more flaky crust. So um, I just I want to thank you for your interest in coconut oil, for your interest in your body, actually even more than your interest in coconut oil, for your interest in Ayurveda, for your um, for your interest in joyful belly. Every time you learn about your body. Your body has more energy, more wellness to give back to you, right? Like if your body's struggling less, it's going to he even heal faster, right? You're going to even heal more conditions. So every little bit you give to your body, your body gives it back. And also every time you heal your community, you're making the world a better place. So I'm, I'm glad to, uh, uh, and I want to thank you uh, that for being fascinated uh, by, your, by your body's natural power to heal by uh, coconut oil and by Ayurveda. Thank you, everybody. Take care.